Hello everyone, this is Prithu from Informatica GCS and today I will give you an overview of the REST APIs in Informatica MFT 10.4 and how you can utilize them to improve your productivity. So let's look at the agenda for today's support video. We will have a look at the various REST APIs provided by Informatica MFT using the official product documentation. We will also have a look at three sample use cases which are how to identify if Informatic MFT is up and running through a REST API, how to get the job log of a project run using its job ID and the REST API, and how to get the list of projects using a REST API. As you can see on this slide, in the first bullet point, I have given the link for the complete documentation for REST APIs for MFT 10.4. If you wish to get more information about these APIs, you can visit this link. The first API that we will be exploring is the ping MFT API which helps to see whether a particular MFT instance is up and running. I am going to use the postman tool to send requests to MFT. You can use other tools such as curl to achieve the same. As you can see I have an MFT 10.4 instance already running on the Vento server on the port 36824. You also have to give basic authentication details which are username and password. And now you will be ready to make this request to MFT. As you can see in the response body below, you can see a status of success which indicates that this MFT instance is up and running fine. Now the next API that we will be exploring is the job log rest API. This allows you to extract the job log for a given project run using the job ID. In this request, you can see that I have appended the job ID to the end to get its corresponding job log as a response. Here in the response body, you can see that the job log for this job ID has been returned by MFT in as a response body. The job number in the response matches the job ID that has been sent in the request. Now the final REST API which we will be exploring in this video is the project list API. This API gives you back a list of projects depending on the path sent in the request body. Now in the request body for this REST API, we will have to send a category ID and a path. Keep in mind that 101 will always be the category ID for the root path which is just front slash in this case. Now when we run this API. We get back a list of all the folders and projects which are there in the root path which is slash. As you can see there are four folders. One is DX projects, the other is projects, the other is Pluto and the other is Pluto 1. As for projects there are three. One is test, the second is test PROJ and the third is test BTO receive. Now if I wish to see all of the folders and projects which are inside the path slash DX projects. I'll have to take the category ID which is 102 and the path which is DX projects. As you can see, I have modified the request body to have a category ID as 102 and the path to have slash DX projects. Now when I run this request, in the response body I can see that slash DX projects has two folders. One of them is receive and the other is send. Now I have modified the request object to make category ID as 103 and the path as slash dx project slash receive. Now when I make this request, in the response body I can see that all of the folders and projects under slash dx projects and receive will be listed here along with their category IDs. With this support video, I hope that the viewer will now have a fundamental understanding of how REST APIs in MFT can be leveraged for various use cases. We would love to hear from you. Please write back with your feedback on supportvideos at informatica.com or tweet to us on our Twitter handle at InfoSupport. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.